Good evening, and welcome to the news tonight at 6. The Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall have been hearing about the impact of youth workers on the lives of young people living in deprived areas during a two-day visit to Northern Ireland. Charles and Camilla were earlier welcomed to Belfast City Hall by Lord Mayor Frank McCobry and discussed the centenary of Northern Ireland with local historians. It was during the royal couple's second engagement that they met with youth workers at the headquarters of the Education Authority in Belfast City Centre and heard the reflections of young people they had helped. Another news. Medaran has issued a status yellow thunderstorm warning for Dublin with a chance of lightning striking the capital. The warning comes into place from 2 p.m. this afternoon and will remain until 8 p.m. this evening. As well as the capital, the warning also covers Carlow, Kilkenny, Louth, Meath, Wexford, Wicklow, Cork and Waterford. Promoted stories the forecaster said we can expect, thundery showers with the risk of lightning and local hail. The bleak start to the summer is set to continue with an ominous airflow moving in from Thursday until the weekend. Next tonight. This morning's Philip Schofield kicked off the week in fiery form today as he took a guest to task over comments about Prince Harry. The 59-year-old later cheekily told co-host Holly Willoughby to, shut her face, in a debate on how to cut scones. The reopening of non-essential retail this week will result in 280,000 employees around the country returning to work. For over four months, the vast majority of shops and stores around Ireland have remained closed but as the country begins to reopen ahead of the outdoor-themed summer. With so many people returning to work, the government are urging those who have been in receipt of the pandemic unemployment payment PUP to close their claims. And finally, sport teenage footballer Kean Prince, who was stabbed to death when